Have you ever wanted to teach an AI to act in a specific way, like your favorite movie character or a celebrity crush? What if I told you that you can now do it faster and with less powerful compute than you think? Stick around and I will show you how. Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we are diving into the exciting world of fine tuning. We'll be working with brand new super efficient model from Google, Gemma 3 with 270 million parameters is part of family of powerful models, but this one is special because it is designed to be customized. Think of it like a smart, eager apprentice ready to learn a specific skill you want to teach. To help us train our apprentice, we'll be using ready to run Unslot notebooks and Google Colab. So what does Unslot do? It's a library that optimizes the fine tuning process. It's making it significantly faster and use less memory. This is what allows us to train a powerful model like Gemma on more accessible hardware. A key technique that Unslot uses to achieve this is called LoRa, which stands for Low Rank Adaptation. Instead of retraining every single part of the original model, LoRa freezes it and just adds a very small trainable layer on top of the model. We only have to train these tiny new pieces, which significantly cuts down on the memory and computing power. It's a game changer for building custom AI without needing a massive server. To fine tune Gemma to act as it wanted to, we need data with a lot of examples. And honestly, this is the hardest part of every fine tuning process. It takes a lot of work to gather relevant data that we can use to customize our LLM. This is why for the purpose of this video, I will be using Emotions dataset from Hugging Face. Our goal today is to turn Gemma into the emotional classifier. We will teach it to read a piece of text and identify the emotion behind it, like happiness, sadness, or anger. This dataset I mentioned is a collection of texts that are already labeled with emotions. It is a perfect textbook for our AI apprentice to learn from. Now let's talk about the fine tuning process. We'll be using an Unslot notebook as I said previously, which makes things super simple. So first we need to run the installations and load the model. Next step is to add LoRa adapter. Then we can move on to load our emotions dataset. Every example in the dataset contains the sentence and the label assigned to it. It describes the emotion behind the sentence. Now, before we go further, we need some system prompt that will explain our model how it should behave. Here I prepared short description for this task. You are an emotional classifier, analyze the given text and classify into exactly one of those 13 emotions. Choose the primary emotion expressed in the text, consider context and implied emotions, not just the explicit words. For sarcasm, look for contradictions between literal and intended meaning, use neutral only for truly objective factual statements, respond with only the emotion label in lowercase. And of course, some examples. Now let's prepare proper format for fine tuning. So basically we are preparing fake conversations. Here is the example how the data look after this transformation. As you can see, the conversation key was added to every example, which contains the content for each role in the conversation. And then we need to match it to actual template that is used by the model. And here is the final format of our example, which contains flags that are easy to understand for our model. So at this step, we are pretty much ready to start training our model. But before that, we want to check how model performs on our task before we fine tune it to be able to verify after training if it make it worse or better. Here, I prepared simple score that calculates the percentage of correct responses from the model based on the first 100 examples from our dataset. Let's run it and wait for the result. Okay, it's done. And as you can see, the score is equal to 0%. <laughs> so model was not able to correctly classify any of given examples. So now let's help the model to learn how to act on this task. Few more things we need to do before the training. We need to specify the trainer and as Unslot proposed, we will train model only on the assistant outputs to increase the accuracy. It looks like we are good to go. 
I will run the training and get back to you when it's done. Ok, it looks like it finished. Now let's check the score again after the fine tuning. As you can see, model got much better result after the fine tuning. Based on the score, you may think that maybe it's not the best idea to use Gemma 3 as a classifier. And I agree with you completely. For this specific task, it might be better to use an color only model like the still bird. But this example shows how easily we can adjust model to act as we want it to. And that's the core idea. By combining a small efficient model like Gemma 3 with a powerful tool like Ansloth, we can create our own custom AI without need of massive resources. You should check out other ready to go examples prepared by Hugging Face and Ansloth. If you are curious and want to try it yourself, all the resources, including the Ansloth notebooks, are linked in the description below. It is a fantastic way to start your journey into the world of fine tuning AI. I hope this example helps you understand the basic of fine tuning. Now let me know in the comments what you will train AI to do. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.